streaming. Putting out that sick tweet. Starting at the stream early so we all get to enjoy. Which one was it again? Putting out that sick tweet. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no no no. Whoops. What's that? That's that's just someone saying hello. Okay. Um get everything set up and ready to go. There we are. Let's go pick another safe state. Ah, uh, I'll be honest. I'll be 100% diggity, diggity, gosh, diggity darn honest. Sorry, I got some minor things to take care of. I just want everything set up and ready to go. Because usually the first few minutes, not much happens. Uh, am I in the Discord chat just in case someone wants to say hello? Yes, I am. Um, I just need to ask Silo to make me a, a stream box. To be like, here's a Safi stream box. Go in if you want to have a Safi stream chat. Um. There we go. No, that's taken care of. I'm an adult. I, I get I get commissions. I've I, I I've had like several commissions. I've not asked payment for any of them. <laughs> like an idiot. But I have I, I've had commissions. Okay, um let me just let me just okay. There we go. I forgot a lot about this level. I don't know anything about this level. What I do know is that I don't like this level. Oh no. I don't like this level for one reason, that's that it's super confusing to navigate. So this level's confusing because you have to navigate from the inside to the outside, and you generally don't know where you are inside, outside-wise. I like to call it a get-bent scenario, where the player is just expected to get bent and shut the fuck up. Hey kids, do you want to get bent? Buy a bending bot. Uh, hey kids! Two viewers. <gasps> I'm so special. Who is it? Who is in the chat? Let's take a look. We got me. I guess that's it then. <laughs> it's me. It me. Oh, this is the 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 the, the water. Oh, oh no. This actually makes things a bit more difficult because now you can't get out of the water here. But you got to do this for a boy. I like how the guy that you help out is like, oh, you know, you help me. All the water came from the sky. Someone is uh, saying things to me. It's Dick. It's Dirk. Dirk, with a fancy last name that I can't pronounce because it's it's fancy, and I'm just like I don't like it. Man, whoever did all these panning shots has a big hard on for them. So the funny thing is, if you come over here, I think uh, Kazooie says it's not going to fall out of the sky or something like that. Like, your character actually makes mention of the fact that this is just going to appear. How? So, how do they communicate? And how does he... How does he... Oh, I don't know. This video game doesn't make sense. It really should, though. Thanks, video game. Let's hope today is going to be as successful as yesterday. I don't think it is, because I think yesterday was an outlier. Oh, that, oh I forgot this. This is a little, little, so little platforms for little baby boys who want to be special. I want to be special. I'm an adult. Help. I mean, I might be an adult, but I, I need an adult too. Uh, if I recall correctly, the way to get rid of those guys is you need the B, which means we need a boy. Do I have any boys? I do not have any boys. Okay. That's... that... that sucks. Get... Oh, you can fly, but these guys get super angry at you if you do so. Yeah, I think you need a... Well, we gotta find a global then. Oh! Heck! This constitutes assault! I 
Oh, there's so many... Oh, God, I forgot how much there's to do in this in this level world. The problem is, uh, I think Mumbo does exactly one thing, and that's make it rain. Literally. Um, that's all Mumbo does, is he makes it rain. The problem is, this level does a lot with you having to split up a whole bunch. And it's not the greatest. <laughs> This is one of those levels where if you, if you optimize your motions, it's probably easy to do, but if you don't... Well, it, it's a get-crunked get level. As the, the, the saying goes, you get crunked. They could have just made it so that you get less eggs, but you get one of each, you know? Coulda, 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 shoulda, coulda, coulda, as they say. I'd like to point out these loading times are non insignificant. So how does this work? Oh, this is like a time one, isn't it? You have to get the you have to get do the ma the magic thing first. Yeah. Ow. So can we talk about contact damage for a second? Because contact damage is really the only reason you ever get hit in this game. Is because enemies for some reason hurt on contact. Why does a flower hurt on contact? It's a flower. It looks like that specifically to be touched. And other people are gonna be like, oh, you think that, oh, yeah, you've got opinions about women. I'm like, no. They are literally flowers. They are literally designed like that to be interacted with by bees. Oh, there's a globo down there. Good. Then we can go back to Wumba Kumba. What does it say if in an exploration game you put up a sign that says, Hey, are you exploring this area? Holy fucking shit, that's... That is the worst. That is not... That is the worst for a very specific reason. That is like being in a fighting game and there's a sign that says, Hey, are you... Are you pushing the attack button enough? God, that's... that's the problem is it's patronizing. It's, it's patronizing the player being like, Hey, you're not gonna look in this pool, are you? Oh, because you're dumb. Got a little stifled, stifled snicker. I'm like, you're not gonna look here. Ugh. Also, the fact this game has like real cheats, like you get health regeneration, to me says a lot. Okay, so let's focus on the vault because the vault is an interesting thing. The vault is activated by Kazooie buttons that are all over the place. Also, can I say that I really like the Jello? I love the Jello. Hello, the one of Triforce. Just a minute ago, we saw a sign, and that sign just said, Hey, are you playing the game? And I'm like, what? <laughs> but yes, the, the vault is 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 solved. Oh, I think, actually, you find notes almost exclusively in this area, don't you? Hmm. Oh, these are for a little thing later. We're just going to get around now. But um, the vault is opened by pushing kazooie buttons. The cl clockwork kazooie buttons, specifically. There's one. I don't know how this works. I don't know why you would ever design your vault like this, but apparently someone thought it was a good idea. I want that man fired. This is a, this is a, a, a hazard. What is nice? We need to find Mumba so we can take care of those annoying eyeballs. But I don't know where Mumba is because I don't have a map because I don't know. I I I just can't wrap my head around this internal area. I'm sorry. It's just a place that my head never quite registered. It's one of those places. You know, this, everyone has like this one game area where they're like I can't wrap my head around exactly what I'm looking at. So if Mumba's over there, then I want to take exit A, which is the okay. Dragon Kazooie is awesome. I don't know. I, I find this... I don't know. I would have loved it in if in um, Nuts and Bolts they, they just had Kazooie as a dragon. Because most people would probably get it because it's an exploration game. People explore. And Ice Key is not the hardest thing to get. So I would have loved it if they actually were like in, 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 in 2. In, in 3. They were like, ah, oh, well, Kazooie's a... It's just, this is just what Kazooie is now. I think I already went down here. I think it's how it came here originally, actually. Yeah. 
But yeah, the fun thing about the split pads is because Banjo has a regeneration move, you can just split up and then regenerate a bunch of health back. Ugh, I don't... Like, what are these enemies even supposed to mean? It's just so goofy. I can't wrap my head around this place. I think I want to be over- yeah, I want to be over there. Still though, the fact this game has to actively spell out- have you explored this area yet? Mm -hmm. Nine out of ten players forgot to explore the section of the game, so we put up a sign to make sure that they read the Because here's the thing, if you're if you're exploring the level, you're gonna read signs. If you're not exploring the levels, you're not gonna read signs. So why put up a sign to tell you to do something? Okay, uh, I need to... Okay. My brain was thinking the thing for a second there, and then it stopped. Uh, I need to do the, the, the thing in a second. We'll do that later, when we're gonna do a split up thing. God dang bees and their god dang contact damage. Dirty hacksaws. Oh, there's this guy. Sui sounds just miserable using that. It's like <laughs> she's throwing up all over the floor. Dirk asks me a question. Kakling. That is not how you enter a save combination. I wonder. If you just gave someone the blueprints to a safe, could you sort of engineer together what the combination is? I imagine you can, because they're usually mechanical. I have to be careful with my, my feather and egg reserves. This level's gonna take a bit. Get bent, Ice Cube. <laughs> I like how we murder both of them. And the game is like, that's okay. You had a you had a reason. It's okay to commit murder if you have a reason. Interesting how um Chili Billy and Chili Willy are both like interconnected bosses and this is it's just weird. It is slightly mysterious. Anyway, let's go solve this this problem with some bee power. God dang Dirk. God dang Dirk. The curious boy. So, remember that last transformation from uh, Click Clock Woods? Which was the most disappointing st thing ever? Because it's like the final transformation, you're a bee and you get to fly, and the game is like, you do nothing with this. Well, the bee now has a purpose. Because now we get to shoot. You might say, oh, that's slow, but don't worry. Once you're flying, you get rapid fire. Going in for the assault. Oi, oi, captain, me captain. And the bee actually gets stuff to do, because we're going to solve the eye problem, so you actually do something tangible. That's nice. I'm a little bee! Get crunked, mofo! Let's go hunt ourselves some eyeballs. You can also press B to go faster. I like how you can press B to go faster. Because it makes this level slightly less painful. Over here... 
It's just it's, remember the shooting mini game from the one I forgot to do it again. Would you like to do it again? Oh, this is where Momo does his magic, isn't it? Yeah, this is where his, 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 his magic pad is. Bada bing, bada boom, baby. Where's that? I actually don't know. <laughs> I don't know where that is. Oh, we have to tap it. Because why make it a hold feature? Also, you may notice that there's two Mumbo houses. One is red, one is blue. What does it mean? Well, kids, it means the same thing it always has. Video games. Ah, it's somewhere near the Jello Castle. <sighs> For some reason, there's a Jello Castle. Oh, oh, I remember this. This, this, this just blows chunks. You have to do that little path, and the little path sucks. It's frustrating. Well, there's the Jello Castle. Ha, here he is. What? And now you're making... <laughs> and now they're making a statement. Thanks, Gruntilda, for making me exterminate a rare species. I very much appreciate it. We get to do more. Sh <sighs> oh, come on, man. So many times in this game where it's like, oh, I, I did a thing. Can I get my... No, you don't get your reward yet. You gotta do more. And it's like, come on, man. What do you have against just letting someone do a thing and get a reward for it? A game doesn't need this much content in, in, rea in, in truth. In truth and actuality. There's the cleft. Hope you brought your extra chins because we're clefting it. There. That takes a load off my back. I can't go in there. Oh, that's probably the kazooie switch. The click clock glue glitch. Another note. Yeah, they all seem to be near the doors. Which means I should have 90. Which means there are two more doors I haven't visited. Oh, I got all of them. Well, that takes a load off my back. Go take care of the bees. Buzz, 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 when you give this boy, would you give him a little pat and you can buy him a little drink? Or like a, or like, like, a, like a tiny cup of honey? And just be like, yay! And you'll be like, <gasps> too fresh. Oh my goodness. I forgot how many callbacks there are to the original video game. I should be. Oh no. No. Because all these minigames are basically the same. Essentially, we shoot some bees! You also get auto-targeting because I guess they really didn't have confidence. So who am I to complain? I get the benefits. One more point to be the best of them all. The best of the best die like the rest. As they say in some countries. I got 60 points. 
Hot ziggity. I expected that to be a little bit more annoying, but it turned out it was okay all along. I really don't like the flying magic Kazooie because there's like you have to really want to go down before the game is like fine. I'll let you go down. So the game is really frustrated. If you don't want to look at things from above. You want to play again? No. Jump off a cliff, which I'm actually going to do because I'm a bee. I'm a bee. Buzz, buzz, buzz. Oh my god, he's so cute. Don't you just want to smooch this boy? If you don't, what's wrong with you? Where where did you grow up? South Alabama? South Alabama, they still act nice. Um, so let's think. Let's think for a gosh diddly on second. I hate that this level doesn't have war pads because you could really use them! <laughs> I don't edit my videos into Let's Plays because I don't know what e editing means. I'm, I'm not an adult. I think we're done with the B. I don't think the B does much else. I do upload the full VODs on YouTube. For reasons. Because I, 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 I like it when people get to watch. I don't really edit things if there's like a, a big thing that makes me go, I'd really not have that. There is a whole, like, there is a... a this, this is some, some hot, sweet sapphire crook lore for you here, guys and guyettes. Um, where did that go? There's a thing that I always tend to, f to mess with, and it's gone. I hate it because it always goes away. Um, so, th this is some hot sapphire crook lore for you all. Um, a long while ago, I once recorded... I, I do something called the Kako Awards, which are like uh, Doom World Awards for the best Doom mods of the year. Um, and one specific time, there was... Uh, I tried to record a video. Uh, I think I broke up with someone at that point, and I was really angry at them. Um, and I think one of the reasons I was super angry at them is they were they were like, "Hey, I want to fuck a dog," and I'm like, "What? <laughs> what?" <laughs> um, I don't see that guy anymore. Someone else apparently dating them. I'm pissed off because um, you know, bad people should get their comeuppance, and he's a terrible person. Uh, I, I hope his relationship just falls apart. I'm very bitter because he's not a good person. Um. I mean, to be fair, he does have, like, a stressful job, but fuck it, man. And there's just a Doom video where every single time I tried to record, it just went completely wrong. Uh, I had to re-record the same level multiple times. Just to get a video I, c I could put up. That wasn't me just leaking all over the place. God damn, man. Are you kidding me? Stupid flowers. God, I have such a urge to call him out. <laughs> I can do it right now. Too bad that I lost my uh, Telegram account. Like, when I remade it, it, it said, no, I don't have all your information. Also, I could just pull up the old records and be like, look at this. Look at this motherfucker being like, I'm, I want to fuck a dog. Actually, the words he said is, I want to buy a female dog. And, 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 and he was like, oh, I'm going to gonna touch her. Ooh. And I'm like, what the fuck, man? I know that we're in a relationship, but that doesn't mean that I suddenly want to hear about your more extravagant behaviors. Also, who the fuck's gonna take care of that dog? Now that I think about it, this guy... This guy actually didn't have the time. Like, he... he he's like a train driver for, like, long-distance trains. So, he really wasn't home that often. Who was gonna take care of his dog? Someone else? I like how I'm, how I'm discussing how a dog should be taken care of by a, a bestiality person. You know what? Fuck it. I'm gonna name drop him. His name is Lane. I'm so tempted to call out his FA username. What the hell's going on with Kazooie? Science will never know.
Also, I think uh, Kazoo can manage the flap indefinitely. Now we need to get Kazooie all over the place to take care of some eggs. I'm not upset. It's just a bit of a sore memory to bring up. I guess the main reason I'm actually upset is because the guy was loaded. <laughs> he was interested in me. I'm a terrible person for saying that, but... Let's be clear, that his money was his only redeeming fa factor. Like, he he was the kind of person who is in a relationship for his own needs. Almost exclusively. And he's all like, oh, I love you and I want to smooch you. But it's like, no, no, you don't. You're doing this for you. Hey, we're almost done. Ah, <sighs> those loading times. You know, that's what makes me the most angry about the way this level is set up, is it takes a while for loading times, and you go in and out a bunch. It's like, don't do a level design if your engine can't handle it properly, you know? People don't like dealing with loading times. I think this is the one where Kazooie just has to sprint around like a madman and hit things. But there's a fun little, uh... If I recall where it is, I think it's on the side of the milk carton. Jolly juice! So, uh, here's something fun. Um, it's Tootie, who does not show up in this video game. There we go. This is a fake one, I think. But that's fine. They can't all be real. God, that's a good question. That's a great question I just had in my head. How doth one? I can't get up to the milk carton. Just want to get up to the Jinjo. How does one get up to the Jinjo, though? It's up there. Maybe if I try to shoot a cluck 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 egg. Can I make that? Heck yeah. Huh, I think we're gonna mostly pick up purples from here on out. Does it still say that I... Fair enough. This... Oh, man, see, here's the thing that I... Here's the thing that I, that I originally said to myself. Originally, I said to myself, I'm gonna make this a place that doesn't... Because I, I, I wanted to make this a place where, like, okay, you come here, you're not gonna have to deal with real life. Like, something bad happens, doesn't show up. Also, something good happens, doesn't show up. Just It's just the video game. So let's, let's get back to that. Although, I do really like complaining about this guy. Because <laughs> he's such a, like, obvious bad guy. We gotta kill some germs! I think these enemies are already used in the in the, the big guy's stomach. Why not just make a video game where you have to do the same thing again? 
hasn't stopped them so far. Heck. Why did I make the bum 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 noise? I think that's your problem with these these guys in this health and safety department. Big points for little me's. The camera scrolls the wrong direction. <laughs> oh my goodness! They've got such a hard on for making the camera pan and it scrolls the wrong direction. Oh, that's great. I really like this garbage dump, though. I, I, just, I just got a soft spot for big things. Look at that. They put all these cool things. Now it's now it extra salty goodness. Would you like some extra salty goodness on your crackers? Man, the fact the camera panned the wrong way was just the, just the thing I needed to... complete <laughs> idiot. Beh. Beh, beh, beh. Can I step on the button again? I can. Doesn't do anything, but I can. The power is within me. I think you can actually fight Mumbo on your own if you're like a, a, a weirdo who's like, I'm gonna fight Mumbo alone. Woo! And you go like, yippee skip yo! Which for the uninitiated is a code word. Oh, without Banjo, we can't do this. Oh, freaking hell, we can't do this thing. That just psst, frustrates me. That's annoying. I think Banjo can. Because we have to. Go around. We have to deliver those uh, strange seeds we picked up. The few players we have to dump them. Um, but there's one more of these eggs, if I'm correct. If my exact calculations are correct. Oh, look at that frame rate. Seriously though. Like, why make a level if you're engine? I think it's the emulator though. It might just be this is an emulation issue, and that in I don't recall it being that bad when I played it. So it might just be an emulation issue. But still, you know. You think an emulator would be faster with loading? But whatever. If it works, sh it works. Cotton. <gasps> Didn't put a flat pad here. Come on, man. Someone gets someone gets stuck there. It's almost like really disappointed in themselves, and they, they get stuck. Let's go take care of this little, little goober. It's on the other side, actually. And there's a flat pad there, and you put over. It's so mean. I'm using 2.3.0.210, so... I just want to glide. You have to wait a little bit before the glide actually initiates, and it's a little annoying. The glide takes you far, though. Cheapers. That's a really slow burn. We unlocked a vault. I think that's the date Rare was founded or something. They're like, oh, it's a, it's, it's a real rare date. <laughs> and I'm like... Oh yeah, I'm fallproof. <laughs> I forgot it was fallproof. <laughs> Alright guys, so I still gotta take care of the egg. Then we can pick up Banjo, take care of the seeds. Once the seeds have been deposited, then we can go take care of Mumbo. What bothered me was that you can't build up speed by going down. They should have done that. Actually, isn't the, the backflip as high as the regular claw? Yeah, I think it's actually as high. 
That's goofy. I really like, um... I like the evil Mumbo Boss. I like him a lot. He, he's, the, he's the reason that Zakui exists, and Zakui is, is freaking cute. I just smooch like Zakui. Which is basically Robo Kazooie, and she looks adorable. There's no other way to put it. Alright, smooch it. And I'm not gonna deny it. A as a disclaimer, all my, my desires to smooch things are, of course, entirely on a consensual basis. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna smooch that which wishes not to be smooched. Look at this little, little jelly heart. I just love the jelly jacks, they're so cute! The little jelly. Little jelly belly. How can you not like jelly? I like to imagine that when she says that line, she's like, oh man, Banjo is near to say, do you? And she's like, oh man, I got to care of myself today. And she just improvises. Sit on that egg. Make the magic happen. I think you can fight Mumbo actually on your own, even though it's probably not a good idea. Just a little sneak peek. Just a little hint. Let's go deliver some seeds. And beat up a boss, I guess. I forgot which one is the good one and which one is the bad one. One of them is the good one, one of them is the bad one. How's that for an answer? How do you like them apples? Apples. Okay, when are you going to stop showing up as red? I've read the message. There we go. I prefer it, Mr. Mr. Twitch, if you if when someone looks at a thing, like just because it just takes too long. Although I guess it's like, okay, we're not we're not for sure you we know for sure you read it. But I read fast. Ooh, Globo. Sweet! Now we got both of them. I was expecting there to be a flight pad around here. So where do the seeds go again? They go... The placement is obvious. Like, it's not like a, a mystery to everyone. Um, there's one. Ugh. What a wet noise. Like... Such a wet noise. Out of my way, boys. Daddy's coming to town. You must be the real Banjo. You are extremely difficult to talk to. Yeah, I like it. It's it's the red one. It's the one with the fake m with the with the Minjo. It's like it's like oh man, it's the bad guy's place. And it's like no, that's where the real Mumbo hangs out. Apparently, I guess he likes red. Don't pass judgment. Pass judgment on the low times on his door. Can you imagine? Like, you show up to his house, and you're like, I'm, I'm showing up to Mr. Mumbo's house. I have to wait for the load time. My goodness, they did not kid around. Holy freaking shit, they made their whole profile a giant page. And it is super clumsy. Oh, this is terrible. Like, I appreciate the effort they put in. Like, this is a lot of effort, a lot of work to put in your profile. But, you know... Um, like, um, there's a reason most people stick to text. <laughs> that reason is not everyone wants to load a big old picture. Anyway, let's go go find the other uh, dumping spot. That was, the, you know what, I was in such, my mood was getting better, and then, and then, of course, of course, a horse, of course, 
that's when that happens. Ugh. That's a Swiss cheese, by the way. Inside, you choke. As we all know, bears are allergic to cheese. Especially a ripe camembert. I want to go over there. If you don't spit me over there, I'm going to be slightly upset. Heck yeah. We're going to fight ourselves a boss. I know this may not seem like the smartest of ideas. But I don't care. I also don't think this is a particularly difficult boss, so... But that's if I recall correctly. Manjos are cute! They look so they look so nice. They look like Jinjos. Um, Jinjos look nice. <laughs> kind of weird. You know what's weird? Every single, um, a lot of jingles have gotten updated, but the Jinjos still use the same j jingle. Anyway, here's the boss, who is sadly not Zakui. I like how they reuse the animation, because they could. It's the Mingi Jinjo Jungo. Minji Jungo. You know what? I can exchange blows all day. Oh wow, that's a hard that's a harsh harsh trace. Yeah, it really is. You gotta wait. You gotta wait. We're gonna we're gonna play this a bit more careful. So aggressive, though. <laughs> Eat dirt. You know, it would help if you didn't unscrew your head and leak your cyber fluids on the floor. Just a little, just a little tip. Not to uh, tell you how to do your job. Just not, not to tell you how to do your job. Just a little hint. <clears throat> anyway. That's actually a tougher boss than I remember being. I guess I'm gonna be it. <clears throat> I guess my head is dumb and my butt is smart. So I'm glad to be a butt. I mean, I really appreciate the person's effort to putting so much work into making a profile that's like, oh, it's a nice profile. But at the same time, like, <sighs> you know, there's a reason why people stick with simplicity. There's a reason.
Your head gets dumb and your brain gets smart. Out of my way, dear sirs. I want... You know, it would You know, the funny thing about this sign is it would have been a great joke if the sign was like, Did you read the sign yet? And I'd be like, ah, that's kind of clever. But instead the sign is, have you... It could have been a great little joke of like, Hey, you're this far into the game and you're still reading signs. Have a little confidence in your abilities, kid. But, oh, no, wait. Frick, I forgot. We gotta... Before we do anything else, <laughs> we kind of want to take care of Mumbo first. The reason is simple. If we take care of Mumbo, we don't have to do anything other than what we do with Banjo. I think. And of course, they're like, here's here's an extra link to uh to the. P <laughs> Don't do that. Fourth wall jokes. It would have been great though. It would have been a great sign. It would have been an actually good joke. It's like the joke is, have you read the sign yet? Like, why would you put that on the sign? You've already read the sign because you're reading it. The problem is, I don't one, two, three, remember where to go. But we only have to use mobile once. Oh. oh, my insides are, are, are rebelling. A little sips all it takes. Now, it'd be neat if, if the, the Minjos were also robotic, and it's like, well, that's where the, the, the guy comes from. But nope. That connection is never really made, I think. This game completely doesn't understand to take the opportunities with her. But I gotta find a door. <laughs> I gotta find a specific... I don't like this. Like, you know, it would've been great if like every area had like a little sign above it that said, "Here, this is where you're going." Because this area is not distinct enough to allow for ease of navigation, and I really get frustrated. It's, it's the main reason I dislike this level. Is it's a fine level otherwise, but <sighs> just a little, little extra touch. Also, I'm great. It's, it's it's great that you let this random person you've never met before open the vault in place of the people that you said, "Hey, you can have my shit." It's good. To, it's good to know that you stick to your guns. Oh, here's a, here's a fun little story. I had to pick up my dad from the airport today. Along the way, I was viciously attacked by a massaging chair. <laughs> I was there with my stepmother. She's like, here, here, I'll, I'll buy you a massage chair uh, tour. For one, it was terrible. Because it was really mechanical. But th there was th this little thing that would squeeze your legs. The problem is it squeezed my legs. Like, my legs are big. I got big, 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 big muscles. And the thing is, like, aggressively pinching down on them. It murdered me, is what I'm trying to say. I died that day. Ooh. Screw it, I'm using the map. I'm done. Where's X D? Whence is this mystical exit D? Is it that one? I'll make a save. I don't, I don't care. It has to be. It's the lowest exit. And I think the this platform is like the lowest platform. The funny thing is, you, you joke about that not being muscle. It is muscle. It is surprisingly muscle. Why is this exit so high? Oh my goodness. Can I not? Why is it so hard to find this one exit? All I want to do is beat this man. 
at a game of walking fast. Oh no, I gotta find... <sighs> Maybe I'm just being dumb. Maybe it's up here. Maybe it's up higher than I remember it being, because I'm my brain doesn't like this level and just keeps getting confused. It's kind of weird how a little muscle is, how a little uh, fat's down there, compared to everything else. Huh, got into a uh, picture. How nice for him. There we go. I found it. I'm an adult. I can navigate. <laughs> anyway, let's make it rain. Mumbo's last spell is making it rain. Not with, not making rain. He just does a rain dance. And that globo just fell off the world. Great. It's a magical rainbow. Wow. Don't spend too much on that animation budget. Holy heck. That must have cost a billion dollars. Scaling up a model. <laughs> My goodness. I mean... I'm critical for a reason, and that's that there have been so many times when this game is like, oh, things move, and they shift, and they have this squishing and stretching, and it's all cool animation, and then they just scale up the model. I'm really getting the feeling they just ran out of budget midway through this level. Because there's so many tiny, like, polishes that, that Rare did before that they didn't do. Come on, man. Like, this is, like, the last... Like, I, would, I wouldn't have been this upset about the polishes if it was, like, another level, but this level has some making up to do, because it's, it's the last level, it's the big finale, you know? We want to leave off on a strong note. <laughs> sure, muscles. Kappa. I wonder if the, if the Kappa face guy agrees to the use of this image in this in this particular way. There's a lot of people that are like you can't you can't you can't copyright him. It's like no, you can. You really can. There's people at 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 who made scribble knots who got in trouble for that for assuming that you can't copyright a meme. Now, I, now I'm just imagining, like, uh, an advertisement that's like, you wouldn't copyright a meme. <laughs> it's like Disney is aggressively trying to get more public domain to, to use for their stupid shit. You wouldn't copyright a meme. And then the same guy's like, you wouldn't steal from Disney. Okay, now I gotta find the exit. Wonderful, wonderful exit. That goes to where I need to be. Okay, I need to take this exit. I need to take the red door with Banjo. Banjo and Kakui. Welcome to the unfun part, because Banjo can't fly, he has to walk places. What a great way to end to end your final your last level is just let's go let's go on a walk. Let's go on a walk without Talon Trot. Just 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 a just a nice little walk. I don't know why that one's aggressive, it really has no reason to be. Anyway. Fredrar. I think th there is a cheat that makes Banjo faster, though. But it's a cheat, and the game is like, don't, 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 cheats, that's bad. It's bad for the video game if you play it in a way that's slightly more fun than we made it. I don't like how people in modern cheats are like you can't you can't get achievements and I'm like what the f are you and why would anyone care are you why are you this sensitive about your achievements when people want a sense of achievement dude literally no one looks at anyone's achievements I'm someone who cares about their achievements and I don't look at my achievements I get them and then I'm done it's the getting that's important you know it's the getting that matters and after that people just don't care anymore. Anyway, let's go do this annoying minigame. Because that's what this guy is. He's just annoying minigames.
You think she'll race across the course? I love... They could've... Like, there's so many ways they could've optimized the, uh, the loading for that. By just making it, okay, just load this, this mini section of the level, you know? Wow, you're not even trying. <laughs> how how did this man win a medal? Oh, this one's actually for Kazooie. Um, where do we go next? I might as well go take care of either of the, the, of the, of the Swiss cheese. I like cheese. I need to buy some cheese again. Just buy a nice little, uh, buy a slice of cheese and just scrape. Cheese is real good. I like Gouda. Gouda Gouda's a nice soft cheese, got a nice flavor to it. I also like cheddar. Uh, I recently picked up my love for cheddar. It's good stuff. It's a nice, mm, it's a nice melty cheese, tasty on the tongue. I love, I love how often I've been comboed in this game. Oh, never! I keep forgetting that I'm fallproof. I can't take fall damage. I can parachute dive without a parachute, unless there's a def def line. If there's a def, if there's a def boundary, I'm gonna die. But otherwise, I'm fine. Yeah, there's not many people here today. Not the runaway freight train what last night was. Also, no people join up in the chat. Which makes me just a, just a little bit sad. Just a little baby sad. Tiny teaspoon baby sad. How oh, are we here? That is a longer hitbox than it really should, but... I don't get it. Is this is? I don't know why he went that direction. For some reason, he just went that. He just ignored gravity and was like, "I'm gonna slide this way." Heck, if I know why. Um, why there aren't any boots? Like you would think there'd be waiter boots or something nearby that would like you sidestep the the the, the thorns if you had Kazooie with you. I don't think it's there. It's just like sort yourself out. Getting no help from us. Big old vines. They have no logical origin point. Now that I think about it, they just kind of come out of the ground. <clears throat> yeah, like I said, this level really doesn't feel as polished. He's doing it again. That's it. We're, we're we're safe stating this because this is this is bullshit. I think the reason they made enemies respond so fast they did is they they were upset that enemies were, were killed and then people would come back and just do it without the enemy there. Or they were trying to facilitate you know health, like always have some health available for the player. But There. Now, I'm going to take care of this. This time, I'll stay in place and I'll let him make the first move. Huh. That's so smooth, though. Like, he just he makes a little flip. It's a really smooth move. It takes forever, though. Pretty slow. Let's go hang out in a cheese! Chee whiz! The clouds at the bottom. Just a little, just a little extra depth. Uh, I need to look up which one goes to Click Clock Cluey Clan.
That's, a, that's an accepting pad, so... That one. You see, the Jelly Bean Fortress, you gotta get in a certain way, and it's just kind of dumb. I'm inside a cheese wedge. Oh, I remember how this worked. For some reason, there are all these stinky onions all over the place. Also, the frame rate is super smooth now! What happened? Cheapers, man. This is smooth. Oh, wow. Oh. Ooh. It's like I, like I stepped on the game's funny bone. Holy crap. Oh. Oh, my goodness. It's like the minute it had to engage the physics, it's like, I can't do this. No, I'm out of here. This might not be doable in, in its current state. As you can see, um, whenever I step on the moving ones, it just freaks out. I guess because it has to do all kinds of like fancy moving. Because this is a dynamic object interaction, right? Like you think the other platform would also cause, but no, it's the moving ones. I guess it takes extra time to adjust for. Like it has to adjust a whole bunch of positions at once. Like it has to triple check everything. Because when things are moving, you have to readjust everything else around it as well. Oh god, this is this is just like this is entirely doable when the frame rate's normal. It, it's it's still not the funnest thing ever to do, but it doesn't drive me up the wall. Look at this. God, do I, I hate it when games do this. Oh, I hate it. I hate it so much when games do this. Where it's like, okay, you move a little bit, you move a lot. And it's like, ooh, you, you try to adjust, and then it just instantly shoots you all over the place. Ugh. As frustrating as an unwashed common bear. That was nice. How do I do that? I keep forgetting I have fall proof. I don't take fall damage. I think there's just something wrong. Um, when the game tries to forcefully adjust Banjo and, and Kazooie's position, it just freaks out. There's something about the game engine that doesn't like that. I wonder what it is. What's the hold up? Anyway, we're now in Jelly Bean Castle. You might say, why don't you do it with Kazooie? With a, a cl clockwork Kazooie. The clockwork can't jump high enough. So you can't actually make it with that. What is there left to do? I think there's the, 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 the final challenge. With Dude McDude. And, oh wow, I missed a lot of honeycombs. Okay, there's another Cheetos patient there. There's a honeycomb over there. Oh. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, I think I know where I need to go to, to get everything done. Because I want 100% this level and never come back. Always a good sign when someone's opinion of your level is, I want to do this level and then never look back. Where would the other Jinjos be, though?
Hmm. I think we need to split up for any of the, the remaining ones, but... Wait, no, 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 no. It's actually kind of beneficial to have Kazooie on our own for this one. Because she needs to run fast. So having her unburdened is important. I kind of hate that you don't get to the hook hook, hook when you're in Dragon Boat. You just get to spit fire at things. You just get to burn the souls of the innocent. I actually gotta go down here and pick up the speedy shoes. Then... The problem is the N64 controller has gates, so this is not the most challenging thing to do. I'm glad I slept I slept well last night. I slept well. For the first in a long time I just had a nice good sleep. See you later. Don't come back. They don't want you. Isn't there a flight pad over here? Yeah. Feed. Trying to go again? Garbage can. And that's the last honeycomb. Where's the last ginger, though? Um, got the one in the cheese. There's a ginger inside the bee house. Well, heck. It doesn't matter. Where do I want to go again? I think the red one has a flight pad. Which is exactly what we needed. Interesting, the Momos are actually on actually the exact opposite of uh We gotta fly over the Womba. Fly over the Womba. Become a bee. Go back. Pick up the ginger I missed. Heck.
least the, the map said there was a ginger here. I don't even know what this level's called. For some reason, cloud. For some reason, this level's this level. Just everything about this level doesn't register in my brain. From its name to its layout, it just goes. Whoosh. That's the one I was thinking of. Well, I wasn't entirely wrong to go to Wombas. Only doesn't go like for no reason. I think he just lets you do your thing. Like you have to go hard down before it's like, yep, yep, you're going down. Weird. Just, had I just waited for a second, I would have known this boy was here. Oh, I missed him. I missed the boy. Let's try again. Yeah! Hey, cool, we got enough to beat the game. My calculations are correct. This is the last thing we have to do, and it's not a fun one. <laughs> this is just shoot a bunch. That's the mission! Just shoot a bunch! What a lame way to end this level. You can just walk straight into it, I guess. Why well, try to avoid an incoming attack? Okay, that's kinda neat. Be honest. That's kind of neat. So, I think we need to get either 100 or 75. For some reason, Gunchilda holds this. Oh no, I think it's exactly 100. It's two tw uh, it's four. Oh, Jesus. Oh no, it's five times 20, isn't it?
I like how the game is like, yeah, this is really hard to do, so if you win it both at once, it's like, yeah, you you, you did something. But I didn't. Huh. I wonder if anything happens if you get a 100. Let's just look it up. This game is really bad, though. I've mentioned multiple times that the controls are just not... They're, just, they're good, but they're not good enough for this kind of precision. You know what? We're done here. Let's just go to Witchy World <laughs> and start with one of the, the other bad ones. Oh, I love this. In Banjo Land, in Banjo Kazooie Nuts and Bolts, Cloud Cuckoo Land was the last challenge uh, world of Banjo Tui. It took log a lot of effort to get it running smoothly due to its large open nature. AKA, we probably shouldn't have made this level. But they did. Why isn't Zyla jumping in? You think they'd be jumping at the chance. Hmm. To one of the worlds that doesn't have five war pads, the other one being called and Keep. Can't play on the game. Hmm. Oh, Cloud Cuckoo is actually a term. Huh, I thought. Hmm. The hell are these screenshots? They're. Ooh. For some reason, they're like, here are the models. Why is there a picture of the cheese wedge model? Why was someone so like, oh man, look at the cheese wedge model? That deserves a place in the wiki. <sighs> Come on, man. The most exciting thing they could find in all of Banjo-Tooie was the cheese wedge model. I'm sorry, sir. But that's just not gonna fly here. But we're done. I never have to go back to this terrible level again. Technically speaking, this is the part where I say I'm done with this game, officially, in every capacity, because I don't care about this game enough to fully beat a but, and it's a big but. Might as well do a little bit more. I guess Flying Saucers isn't the worst game out there. I mean, I guess. Let's get out of here. It's actually a nice entry. It's like, oh, you get to get to co-op. I just want to read the sign. So, the weird thing I don't get about the signs is that they're all read by Jam Jar. But there, nothing is ever done with that concept. It's just like, here they are. And here's Jam Jar talking about it. And it's like, mm. I need to know where the last few notes are, though. I need to know where they are. I, I'm missing a few more notes. missing 20 notes in Isle of Hags. But where are they? Where they be? I don't have a map. There's no map of, of Isle of Hags that I can pull up and then reference, so... I'm gonna have to figure this one out on my own. I just want to get all the notes. Although we got all the power, so there's no reason to collect any notes. There's nothing, by the way. The game awards you nothing for getting all the notes. It's like, once you get the last power up, you might as well just say, Oh, notes, they don't exist no more. Yeah. 
I think in hindsight, this game is fine. For its time, it was probably like, oh, like you're like, oh, oh what an experience, what a video game. What an exciting video game I played. And I'm not going to fault my, my younger self for finding this game good, because if you don't respect your time like a fucking child would, this game is fine. If your child doesn't respect his time... Oh, they did texture it. Heck, they textured it. Well, color me jam jar and throw me down a well. Secret exit. It's not very really secret now, is it? I'm not missing notes, I'm missing the treble clef. Welp. Interesting. Interesting. So, here's something fun. You get all jiggies in the Isle of Hags are earned by doing the Jinjo quest. Except one which is given by King Jinjo. King Jingling. Where is the Red Boy house? And how these motherfuckers set up a memorial so fast. That's it. No fanfare, huh? No, no fanfare, huh? Not even a, a, a good job, buddy. Game is just like, yep, you got him. Yeah. That's rude. Still missing a honeycomb here. Do I actually care about any of this? <sighs> Who's in the chat? We got Commander Root, Cute Hero Girl, Electrical on board, and the one of Triforce. What a hoot. Well, I said I'd do the Witcher World little uh, saucer mini games, so why not? Why not make that the end of the stream for today? Badger 2 is done. I don't care. I don't care what's left. Um, there's a... Um, there's a difference between doing everything for the sake of doing everything and doing everything for the sake of having fun. And someone just said hello to me. I'm moderately insulted. If someone shows up before I finish, uh, I might continue for a bit. Like if someone shows up to talk with, because then at least I'll have someone to talk with. Oh. Ooh, Auras is back. They were cool. <laughs> of course. Of course they're like, whoops, I'll make the I'll make the image easier to read then. <laughs> what did they change? No, I don't want to save it, I wanna open it. Oh, they actually made the text list. That's that's a great one. So the text they use is slightly transparent. I don't know why they did that. Oh, that's cute. That's cute. I wouldn't consider myself that kind of relationship with that kind of person. But who am I to judge? <laughs> Don't smooch. That's what they get. The goddamn cute. I think I'm gonna die one day, dying trying to kiss something that looks cute and tries to brutally murder me. It's gonna be aliens, I tell you. The aliens are like, what the hell are you doing? Did you just kill my boy? Boy. I'm gonna say it again, for brevity's sake. Boy. Hey, boy. Oh, whatever. 
let's go kill Patchy after this. It'll be a great way to, to get some aggression off my shoulders. I'd complain about it being like, here's the thing you have to do, but it's like, ah. It's not the most straightforward thing, I guess. After, you know what? We'll do, we'll do a couple more jiggies, you know? Give it, give it that old, classic, I care feeling. Let's, let's imagine we live in a world where I care. That and I'm kind of having fun. Because I don't have to worry about stuff. I know, it's just, it, now that I don't have to try, I'm like, I, I don't have a good time. The Saucer of Peril! A.K.A. Didn't they do this minigame again in uh, Nuts and Bolts? I think they did. Cute, though. That's a great animation. When the Quasar appears, press C to fire. You gotta score points. We're in the same, coloring, same scoring system we've done for the entire game. Yahoo! Hope you're ready, because, um... Fun fact, you might not, might not know. Um, it's actually inverted. Uh, down is up and up is down. Whew. Oh, but actually, he specifies you're on the ride right now. That's awesome. It gets faster, don't worry. Oh, this is harsh. <laughs> I kind of want to see if uh, Auras is online. Because they're nice. Nice person to talk to. It's really forgiving what, what, what constitutes a hit and not. Super blues. They happen a few times. There's a little stunt, and it's like here's all the blues in the world you could possibly want. Shit, I still get so many points. <sighs> Three hundred points, huh? I need more. Am I good enough at video games? Am I though? <sighs> I can do this. I just have to believe in myself. Believe in my heart and my soul. Heart of the cards. Heart of the cards. Heart of the cards. Okay, this was not as bad as I thought it was. Maybe little baby me was just an idiot. Maybe baby me was just an idiot. We'll just leave it at that. I did it. 
Two bleeping prizes! How bleep I! Heck. It's just one more red feather, sir. Heck yeah. Because we're gonna need them. It's the boss! Again, they do something cool with the lighting engine. Also, the amount of fetishists who like this big guy. You know what, I'm gonna put Mr. Patch in a... Mr. Patch! Let's look him up. On a website. Why does that always happen? Why does why does it always want to do that? It's like you want to you want to you want me to put it like all the way over there. We can't even see it. Oh man, his name is too generic. What if I enter banjo on the top of it? I knew it. Oh man, someone wanted some awesome sprites. All oh, those sprites look cute. They're not great, but they're cute. I knew it. I knew some people would, would be. Oh. Because he's massive and he's inflatable. And he's a cute plush. He's everything everyone ever wanted. Heck. What the hell, man? The shit you find. The shit you find. Heck. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> that's <laughs> Tails for some reason. <laughs> it's Sonic Backpack. Love it. This one's really good, though. The fuck? That was, uh, education. We'll just keep it at that. I've learned a great many things. Isn't it weird how many fights are like, hey, I, I guess we're gonna do a fight then. It's really strange. There's no fly pads yet, are there?
Holy hell, dude. Watch out with them beach balls. He's so cute, though. Who would not want to hug him? I guess he's a little big to hug, though. But I just... Oh, he's so cute. Look at this handsome fella. Where's his last weak spot, though? There it is. It's on his... Oh, goodness. It was a risky move, but it paid off. Oh! There's a little, little thing fan fell out. Little valve. In return, we get to see how beautifully repeating these textures are. And we get to escape. Fuck, that guy ran off with our freaking tickets. Well, um, there's one more thing I want to do, and then I'm done. Then I'm just going to kick up my feet, and we're going to call banjo to a bust. Because I don't want to do the quiz. I don't want to do that stuff. I just want to look at the cute Mr. Patch art, which is adorable. I feel like a walk. No, just uh, go for a walk. Enjoy the weather. Oh no! Oh, oh, you can stand on the ledge. Oh, that's so generous. Oh, game, you didn't have to. I remember that I complained about Ziggurat's enemies being really accurate, and all they did is the usual predictive motions, and it's just, I'm so used to enemies not having predictive motions in, like, Doom, that I could not accept that enemies could actually hit me if they bothered to try. If only they had tried. Oh, well, there's a thing we can do here. Not that it will amount to anything, but we can do it. Which is the egg. Maybe one day I'll come back and complete this game 100%. Maybe tomorrow. Maybe I'll just do it. Depen I'm not getting paid for this. That's my incentive. 
You might say, well, you want to be paid to play a video game? And I understand the angle of that. But understand this. I could be spending my time having fun and also playing video games. Mopping up this game is not as fun. Because the fun in, in Banjo-Kazooie is... The fun of Banjo-Kazooie is that in Banjo-Kazooie, if you get all the notes, you get this cool HP level-up thing, and you get to fill in a couple more pictures, and, and get the, the level... Like, there's a reason to get them. There, there's, a, there's a strong incentive to get them. Whereas here, it's like, once you get to the part you need to get at, it's like, eh... Maybe move the, the, the extra bonus challenge to do anything. Oh, let's just do the challenges, then. Moid as well. Baby, no. Be strong, baby. Be strong, baby. I'm impressed it can fly. Kazooie can't fly, but it can. Riddle me that, Dr. Batman. I'd like to point out, there's no reason for the game to rob you of your, um, food. Um, like, the only reason it ever mugs you of the food you get in the park is so that it can later say, you have to get more food from the park, and it's like, hey, hey, hey. It's really dumb. It's very arbitrary to do it like that. Oh. It just feels like a very unclean answer to a, a very clean problem. Yeah, this has really not been as exciting a day as the other one has been. Why is that art so fucking good, though? Let's go to some, 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 some puzzly puzzles. Go in! Out of my way! Come on, get in there. I like how this how this fucking picture just focuses on the sky where there's nothing for so long. Holy crap, that's frustrating. That's so so annoying. Could have been nice. Come on! 
control stick. Don't leave me hanging. And Saddle's so gone back into silence mode. To be honest, I kinda expect that. Yeah. You have completed Jiggy Wee's Challenge 10! I don't know why this guy has the access to this. Oh, I thought there was a reward for- Ugh, we'll do one. We'll do one. We'll do this one. After I answer this dude on Telegram. There. Now, lucky for us, all orientations are the same, I think. Oh, it's not that one, then, isn't it? Yeah. I know it was that one. Just put it the right way and stick it in there. This makes me so nervous to play this. Imagine that if you know what you're doing, you can basically do this by touch. Those ones are always a gambit, because I can't see them! Jigtastic! Huh. Whatever. I'm out of here. What just happened? Something just happened. Let's take a look at my screen. I got a follower. It's Kuridum. What? He found me. <laughs> ja -ha, ha You found me! And it's Banther 22. Ugh, I love saying ja -ha, ha ja -ha, ha You found me! How did he find me? I don't use this name anywhere he knows. God damn it. I thought it was a sneak, but it was not. Uh, what are we gonna do? Go keep going, go keep doing stuff. Oh, no. Kinda baked. Kinda baked and done. I wanna kick up my feeties. The remaining jiggies that are available are not that fun, um, if I recall correctly. What the heck is that? Oh, this move homes, doesn't it? Yeah. Huh. There's one more thing we can do. It's just, it's just showing off the bat last area. Now again, remember, back when I played this game as like a kid, I, I didn't know English well enough. I mean, I know, right? A lot of people say that I speak as well as a native speaker, to the point that I don't have an accent, and it's like... <laughs> and I just go, yeah ha, ha You found me! Because they did. But, uh... The, the thing is... That, uh... I, I didn't speak English back then. Or not well enough. I couldn't read it. Uh, I spoke it because of cartoons, but I couldn't read it. Which had the nasty complication that I didn't know what the hell was going on in the quizzes. I got one quiz answer right in, 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 the, in the first game. Because it was like, oh, an extra life. I like that. And it was like, the only reason I got that, I was like, okay, I'm, I'm out of here. This one is worse, because now there's not just a time pressure, there's also, it's a, it's a whole competition, it just freaking sucks. The funny part is you don't have to go to, uh, to Cloud, uh, Cuckoo Land. Because this one suffices as an alternative.
by that big old laser fence. How are we supposed to solve for X now? <laughs> I like how the treads are all gooey. Does it even have a total, total section? I don't think it does, because there's nothing to burn here. Yeah, it only has a timer. I'll be honest, the fact that all these, the most minigames went as smooth as they did is great. Smooth as butter. Oh, there's one more Klungo fight. I got half a mind to play that Game Boy Advance game. Career questioning minion. I think that's a great reason to consider changing occupation. Why do you shrink down? Why did I forget that you can just cheese this by walking circles? For the most part. Oh, I guess I'm the fool. Oh! That's awesome! That's so dumb! My tactic doesn't work if I'm not actually paying attention. That is so dumb! The roll attack shouldn't work because that. Ugh. This game never fails to be anything but dumb. I like how the reason he leaves is because of his fucking his, his, his life, his, his love life. Took you long enough. I can tell you that making games is no easy job. I barely understand them myself. Through that door is the quiz. I'm gonna give you a, a, a flash preview of, of the unpleasantness, and then we're just gonna call it a day. And I'll give my opinions. The Tower of Tragedy. Where Gruntilda literally sacrificed her sisters for no apparent reason. One ton. That's it. That's 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 the game. I don't care. I don't care what happens afterwards. This game is a collectathon, and it doesn't need a final boss. It's such a. It, I don't know. It would have been better without it. Just like, oh, Gruntilda's just pathetic, and it's all just sad. It's like, oh, you got you got all you got all the collectibles, and you did a good job. I think this game has a little bit more justification having a final boss because, uh, how to put it. This game is more going on in action terms. It's got a lot more boss fights, a lot more like action environments, so I can sort of be like, okay, I can see why it has a final boss fight. But I think in the end, what do I think of Banjo-Tooie? I think Banjo-Tooie wastes your time a lot. It has a lot of things that are just like do a thing. It has a lot of a lot of fun like activities that are just not as bad as I remember them being, I guess. They're all right. If you bought this game at the time, it would have been an amazing experience because in in the in the younger yester years of gaming. Um, it sure did a lot good. It did a great job of what it tried to do, and it, it, it just it just wrapped it up all nice. It did a great job. So, but it. it's it's a good game. Nowadays, I don't think most people have the patience for some of the things it wants you to do. Where it's like, why does it make me do this? Why don't you just let me do the thing directly? And it's like, mm. but it's not the unmitigated disaster I made out to be. Because it's it's nice. It's nice. I had a good time. The fact that I'm ending this on like a high note should tell you enough, really. I wouldn't be ending on a high note if it wasn't on a high note. So yeah, Banjo Tui.
The game I won't 100% because it just don't care. It doesn't, it doesn't care. If it doesn't care, I can't care. If the game doesn't, isn't, doesn't want to acknowledge it, then what's the point? What brownie points? So that puts... Uh, that means I get to scratch this off my channel, actually. Let's go do that right now. Let's go do that right now. Let's go uh, scratch those puppies up. Badger 2 is off the list. I need to find a replacement for it. If anyone has any recommendations on what they want to see... Oh, hey, it's uh, Gold Upful. Super Gold Upful. Sorry, Super Gold Upful. You showed up late. Um, I, 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 I completed the game to what I considered a finished state. Which is to say, I don't care. I just don't care. The game is officially off my currently playing listings. Next time it's going to be Hat in Time. Mass Effect, whenever Como is going to be back in business. Como is having big family issues. He's not in the position to... We have not seen these as much as I thought I would. I really expect to see more of the uh, event ones, but I guess they're really rare. I guess it's just played so much that I always saw them, but... Hmm. Huh. Cheese. Cheese on my apple. On my apple. Or we could do the thing for the kids where you make the water flow and all that. I don't care about. Oh, ugh. Might as well do this one too. Get out of here, Mr. Ahoy. Hmm. Hmm. Does he stop sitting on the ground? Hmm. Why is Kazooie able to hatch this? Hmm. Nobody knows. sad because I got five. I don't even have five watches. It says three on my end. Panther 22 Commander, Root, QQ Girl, let's go on board, you and that other guy. I like how you use the move to get here, but you need to move from a late level to get this. It's just kind of goofy. It's cute. It's way cute. What the hell this is cute? Look at that boy. Look at him try. Try so hard. Might as well go pick up the other cheat code. I have unlocked. Where's the other page in Jolie Rose Lagoon, though? I think I know where. Oh, wait, do I only miss one? No, I missed two. And I know exactly where to find one of them, and. puzzles do? What gold puzzles? What gold puzzles are you talking about? Go super gold up for the gold puzzle pieces? The jiggies? The jigsaws? Uh, they're used for unlocking new levels, as they did in the previous game.
But we already got enough to all of them, so. We already got enough for all of them. I see their name in many ways. What is this? Oh, this is new. I don't recall this one. But I think this leads to a Jinjo. I don't have Twitch Prime. It's expensive, and I don't have money. Kind of weird how all this water is oxygenated, but the stuff in uh, Grunty Industries is not. And not the shaman you make yourself out to be. Mumble. Treadnoughts. Never heard of it. I'll go look it up on Steam. Oh, it's one of those tank games. Isn't Shell Shock better? I don't know. I don't barely know those games. Man, I really can't afford Twitch Prime. Not to mention, I have no purpose for Twitch Prime. I guess it'd be nice for Warframe. I, I you do Warframe a lot, so having Twitch Prime would be kind of good, but yeah. How much am I really getting out of it? Compared to how much I could save by not doing it. I guess it is different. It better be. Just, <laughs> I'm doing Shellshock would take a bit. Never played it, but I've seen Shellshock enough to know uh, what's up there. You're on the panel. Use it. Oh my god. What am I gonna do? I'm gonna get the last uh, Cheeto page for the last cheat. How does that sound? That sounds uh, like a great idea, actually. How many do I need? I think I need. Two more, huh? I don't. I don't want to do that. I don't even know what the last cheat is. Let's see what the cheats. Oh, first, cheat codes. Um, the other cheats I haven't gotten yet is honey back, which makes you regenerate. Oh, and, the f and there's a sound test. That's neat. Oh wow, the other hags map's actually pretty neat. Makes me almost respect the design. That's a pretty detailed map. Holy heavens. Makes you, makes you think about the fact that Spiral Mountain is really well designed. Like, as an area, Spiral Mountain is amazing. But they do nothing with it. Like, Spiral Mountain just exists. <laughs> I feel really bad for Spiral Mountain now. Why does my stream stop sometimes? I don't know. Target of this game is to the, the thing is this game is actually about collecting things. And it's like there's a time limit, you've got to stop her before she charges the beam. It's like that never happens, so it's not a point. It's a thing that happens, yes, but it's not like the point. <sighs> Maybe sometime I'll, I'll complete this game, but I think for now I'm done. I think for now I'm gonna, I'm gonna pull the curtains. Shh. I'm gonna pull the curtains. 
Big fan. Whose fan are you? Mine or someone else? What is this? Sign for? But are you truly a fan if you don't blow air at something? This game was nicer than I thought it would be. But uh, I, I need a break. I need a break. Next time, hand in time, if not Mass Effect, if Como can finally get his, get his things together, because I feel bad for the guy. He apparently he, he, he hurt his ankle, because he, he doesn't has she was walking in, and then, you know. You have to walk a whole bunch, because he's the, the, apparently the appointed walker man. The appointed walker man. Stitches <laughs> career. Look at that action shot. If only... This was Bioshock. Get some money for that. Some, some precious research points. So they're a much better job than the next game, where it's like, you just have to hit them with 18,000 times. Which year was Mad Trip to be made? It was released in 2000. Wow. This game is old enough to drive and drink. What a video game, people. This game is probably older than a lot of people who are on the internet right now. And that's a scary thought. Actually, most people who were, like, there when the internet was created are, like, were seven at the time. But I'm done. I'm, a. It's a laser beam. How exciting. But like I said, I'm 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 done. I I've unlocked all the levels. I've got a good amount of jiggies. What's left to do is just clean up, and it's boring cleanup. Oh, yeah, it means run away when you use the fire breath. Oh well. I'm sad. It's very fun to stream, but I'm kind of sad now because this is over. I was expecting this to take longer or be more satisfying to do, but at the end, I'm just... It's a very hollow feeling. It's like I punched my nostalgia in the gut and I'm, like, reeling from it. It's weird. But maybe that's the part of growing up, is you realize that you, your, your baby self was a fucking moron. Important lesson to learn. But I had fun. This was great. Hat in Time is going to be slightly better. I feel like Hat in Time does a better job of at least doing a congruent experience. Of like, this is an experience. But yeah, I, I don't... I don't know. Goodbye, Banjo Tui. Uh, I, might do, I might do the GBA game, which is really low res compared to this one. And this one's already pretty low down the, on the, 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 the fidelity lists, but... Uh, Gruntilda's Revenge, I think it's called. It's very different. Because it's 2D for one. For some reason, Rare did... Rare did a lot of stuff. It's not... Actually, setting up a stream was pretty easy. Uh, I don't barely do anything. But, um... Gruntilda's Revenge is weird in the sense that, uh... Transformations are handled very differently. Uh, what probably sticks with me more is... What stuck with me? I think it was about Kazooie being kidnapped, so Badger had like to do everything himself. It was kind of funky. Uh, around that time, I think Rare did a lot of GBA games. They did, like, Banjo Pilot on... Hmm. Ha. Huh. Oh. Ho. How many... How many combs do I have? I need two more, and I can get the final health upgrade, huh? Somewhere in the future, I'm going to play, pick up this game again, I'm going to wrap up the final bits, and then I'm not going to beat the final boss, because I don't care. I've said this a, a bunch of times before, and I'll say it again. I don't care about the final boss of this game. The, the, the game really isn't... This is one of those games where it's like, if you beat the final boss, you'll just be sadder than if you hadn't done that. 
Because the game really stands on its gameplay, and the gameplay is not the final boss. And that's bad. You want your final boss to be representative of the rest of the game, but, you know. <sighs> Rare did as was convenient, was, was conventional knowledge, which is you gotta have a final boss. You gotta have a fucking quiz at the end for some fucking reason. I will never let them live that down. I will smack the man who defended that position. You ruined this game for anyone who doesn't speak any of the languages it offers. Because you can bullshit your way through this game without knowing the languages. It's quizzes. Especially the first game where it's like, you gotta find this lady and gotta learn these answers because you need it. <sighs> Fuck it. Fuck it. Multiplayer. I don't play a lot of multiplayer games. I don't I don't like PvP. Or PvE. Uh, PvP very much. Makes, makes me a spook. Makes me a very spooked boy. Big skur, as they say. I mean, I'd like to have the, 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 the strength to do it, but... I don't know. I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe, baby. Maybe, baby. But, uh... See y'all next time for a hat in time, which does a better job than this game does. Not that hat in time is a better game. I think hat in time's problem is that it's short and it's way more activity center, but it gets the job done, and it doesn't lie to itself or others. I'd like to point out, by the way, this midi change is minor. Barely anyone is ever going to hear this because no one ever comes back here, and this is a tiny area before you go inside. My PC can handle a lot of uh, the, 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 the modern games. Maybe not at the highest settings, but it can handle them. I think. I think it's still the threshold that it can handle, like, I don't know. But I don't care about most modern games, because they're not... They don't... They don't... I just don't want to... I just run away like a scared boy. Like a screw. <sighs> Stretch. Bye, kids. Enjoy your day. Enjoy your Sunday, or whatever day of the week it is.